In this GraphQL tutorial for beginners, we're going to learn about GraphQL mutations. Check out my previous video if you need help setting up your GraphQL server. I will explain how GraphQL mutations work. This is going to be a bit of a crash course on GraphQL mutations with Spring Boot and Spring JPA. We'll start off with the schema GraphQLS. In line 42, you'll see that we've defined an input. An input is a type for any input that you'd want to send in to a GraphQL query. So we've defined an input of person input with an ID, a first name, a last name, email address, office phone number, and mobile. Similarly, we've defined an input for meeting. You've got an ID, a title, a description, uh, organizers and attendees. And you can see on line 70, we've defined a type of mutation. Uh, this will be key. So just like we defined queries before, this time we're defining mutations. This is where we'll define our mutation queries. So here you'll see that we've defined create a meeting and update a meeting. All right, now let's cover the POJOs that will be used to map the meeting input and person input. So as before with the previous uh, POJO we defined for meeting, we just go ahead and extend it with a new class called meeting input. We go ahead and annotate it with the data and equals and hash code annotations, um, specifically calling out that uh, call super will be equal to false here to avoid some of the uh, warnings you'll get with Lombok. Similarly, we've done the same thing with the person input. Again, um, if you haven't seen the previous video, I encourage you to go check it out. Um, but for, for those who just need a quick sneak preview, uh, we've defined a meeting as having an ID, a title, a description, uh, an organizer, and a list of attendees. And you can see the mappings that we've defined here. And for a person, we've defined a person as having an ID, a first name, last name, email, uh, a phone number for their office, and their mobile phone. All right, let's dive into the GraphQL mutation resolver. Uh, this is what's going to map the root level mutation that we defined in our schema GraphQLS to our POJO here. So I've created a class called mutation that implements GraphQL mutation resolver. We auto wire in our meeting repository and you'll see on line 19, we're defining our method signature that maps to the create meeting, taking a meeting input in. And once it gets that um, on line 20, it takes the meeting input, uh, calls out to a private method uh, defined on line 24, get meeting that essentially just uses a builder to convert our meeting input into a meeting and return it back. That way we don't have to add any additional entity annotations in. And on line 21, we just go ahead and save our meeting and return it back. And that's it for creating a meeting. And then on line 35, we have our updated, update meeting uh, method signature where we take a meeting input in uh, and return a meeting back once it's updated. Um, again, we map the meeting input to a meeting object, and then we check to make sure that there is a meeting, in fact, with a meeting ID that they passed in in the meeting input. Um, if there is, then we go ahead and update the, the meeting um, on line 39 using the save function. Um, if there's not, we go ahead and throw a GraphQL exception, letting the end user know that the meeting ID does not exist. All right, I fired up the server and we've got GraphIQL set up. So let's go ahead and explore those mutations that we just set up. So open up the docs, take a look at mutations, and you can see we've got create meeting and update meeting here. So let's go ahead and explore the data that we've got set up. So we have two people added, Steve Catra and John Smith from the previous video. And we have one meeting set up, which is a one-on-one -on -one with John Smith. We added that in the previous video. And now we're going to go ahead and create a meeting. We're going to pass in a meeting object with a title, description, and organizer being Steve Catra, and ask for an ID, a title, and a description back. There we go. And our meeting is called All Hands, All Hands. Obviously, it's not very descriptive. We'll have to fix that. Maybe we should update it. So we've got our update meeting here where we're passing in our meeting ID um, that we've set in our previous. Uh, create call here, so idea four. And we're going to update the description to review Q1 accomplishments and add John Smith into the attendees. 
as you can see here, that's all working. So I've included some additional resources for you in the description down below and some links to my social media. Please let me know what we could do better in the future with this, these videos. And I would love to hear what your favorite part of this video was. Thanks and have a nice day.